Yo, yo, yo. Thanks for tuning in to the 82nd episode of J Talks Crypto. And in this episode, I'm going to be doing a setup video for the Apollo BTC on how to upgrade the hard drive if you have a batch one and also on how to just in general flash the SD card and the whole procedure on doing that. <clears throat> so if the audio quality sucks guys, I apologize. Uh, I left my microphone somewhere else. Uh, I do want to get this out before the weekend because if I don't do it uh, today, it's probably not going to get done for a while. So I'm just going to have to live with that. Anyway, so it is a pretty simple procedure. Um, pretty much, you take the Apollo BTC and you flip it upside down. Um, just unscrew that thing. Mine was a little bit hard to unscrew. Pop it out. That's a 512. We got our shiny new one terabyte. Pop it in. Forgive the clumsiness. I'm doing this with one hand. So, pretty much tighten that up. And we're good to go on that front. So then you remove the SD card if you want to flash it to the latest operating system. See? And um, I'm going to use uh, something like this. It's just like a USB SD card writer. Some, some B-roll for y'all. And these are the instructions. So I have a batch one. So this is kind of like what mine looked like and this is what yours would look like if you have a batch four. Make sure you read the instructions to make sure you download the corresponding thing. You click on this link and it brings you to the mega NZ thing. I have a batch one. So this is the one that I need. So go down here, download as a zip. Click on OK. And it takes it does take a little bit to download. The way the mega downloads is a little bit weird. So over here I'm showing you guys how to download Bella Belana Etcher. I tried downloading the portable version since it wasn't my computer. Um, but I ran into a small issue, uh, as you will see in a little bit. Um, but I feel like it's kind of cool to show these things because maybe you run into it as well And you have no idea how to work around it and just want to show you guys that, that that it is possible So I'm over here. I click flash from file. This uh, shows you the process and You're supposed to like locate the, the file you downloaded and extracted click on the image click on ok select the storage device click on next and then boom here's just supposed to click flash and okay for that and then i ran into this issue so i just decided to use raspberry pi imager um to do it instead um just you know scroll down to click on choose your own operating system pop, if you do that pop the sd card back in and then you're good to go. Just plug everything back in. And um, this is why I love the future bit because they really, really make it easy. This is my batch one that I've had, no lie, since uh, it came in March. And this is the first time I've updated it. A any updates I've been doing have been over the air. They've never paid me a dime for this. Go look at their original videos. Um, everything has been smooth for me. I, I don't know how it's been for other people, but for me, it's been great. 
type in future bit one two three over here to log in and uh, I, I don't really care about the settings too much on this because I haven't been doing so many crazy things with it other than mining and uh, running the node um, and uh, the node so you know just configure the Wi-Fi these are the mining pool things just showing y'all that this thing actually works All right, so that is the process for flashing the SD card and updating to the latest firmware and uh, updating the hard drive. Hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and, and subscribe. You guys know I hate asking, but this is JTalks Crypto, and I am signing off.